Greetings and congratulations to the class of 2020. Your hard work, persistence, and perseverance have delivered you to this day of acknowledgement and celebration as you receive your degrees in criminal justice. Your family, your friends, and this community are celebrating right along with you, and we are proud of your accomplishment. By attending the University of Houston downtown, you have allowed yourself to be educated on a campus that's located in the heart of what is recognized as the most diverse city in this country. It is a campus surrounded by many different neighborhoods, all with their own rich cultures and with the many races, creeds, religions, and colors that really signify the greatness of Houston. Many of you come from these neighborhoods, or neighborhoods just like these. And as students, at the University of Houston downtown, you have been allowed to participate in service learning and community service projects that have allowed you to venture out into many of these communities and neighborhoods. And no doubt you have witnessed the daily struggles in these neighborhoods, many of which are underserved and marginalized. Furthermore, this pandemic that we're experiencing right now has revealed even more the need for social, economical, and environmental change. Some of you will be involved in changes that are needed to truly, truly correct the disproportionate number of youth and people of color who now form the largest numbers of those in our criminal justice system. But on this day of celebration, I do not wish to task you with the responsibility of solving all these problems. I just want to line out for you and lay out for you this one very important message. You are needed. You are important. And we've been waiting for you. We, the world, need your experience, your skills, your fresh insight, and your ideas of how to address and attack some of the issues that I've just spoken to. The skills that you have honed over these past few years as you obtained this degree, along with your determination, moral conviction, self-discipline, and the goal setting that you evidently accomplished are now part of who you are. This is your character. This is a character that's going to bode well for you in the coming future, in not only your professional life, but in your, your social and personal lives. But also know that as you venture out, the seeds of change have already been planted. They were there before this pandemic started. And you're going to need to decide where you are best suited to serve, to place your skills and yourself in your service to this, this country and this nation and the world. And most importantly, what is most important for you? But I'm sure that in whatever job, new program, project that you encounter or that you pursue, you're going to do well. I can almost guarantee that many of you coming from this university are headed and dedicated to doing good. And good things will happen for you. One thing I want you to really, really know is that I want you to be able to always model what you expect of others. This is a very important aspect. My years in corporate America and now in, in community-based organizations and nonprofits have taught me that you must model what you wish to see in others. And also, most importantly, is that you never forget where you come from or where you came from. And then, remember to always, always, always try that old cliche about the only thing that really beats a, a failure is a good try. 
And as I leave you, as I leave you today to celebrate, to continue your celebration, I have one request of you. At the end of the day, when you go home and you've got that big smile on your face and you have your degree in hand, you celebrated with a few or with many or with just by yourself. And please do by all means celebrate. When you get home, I want you to find your mirror. Go to your mirror, stand in front of it with your degree in hand. Look in that mirror, throw your shoulders back, push your chest out, exhale, get your head up high, and get a great big smile on your face and look in that mirror. And this is what I want you to say. Now, what's next? What's next? You'll be answering this question for the rest of your life because with your talent and skills, you're going to find many different pursuits and a lot of goals to reach. Class of 2020, have a great day. Celebrate. This is your day. We're proud of you. Stay healthy, be blessed, and don't forget, get ready for what's next, because whatever is next is for you. Congratulations, and take care.